Imagine two traders, John and Sarah, both experienced in the world of trading. One fateful day, a massive opportunity presents itself to both of them, seemingly a once-in-a-year chance. Excitement fills the air as they eagerly enter the trade. However, John's confidence gets the better of him. Blinded by the potential for huge profits, he ignores the principles of risk management and places an oversized trade. On the other hand, Sarah approaches the trade with a more measured mindset. She recognizes the potential, but remains grounded in her risk management strategy. Sarah carefully selects a position size in line with her daily risk capacity. As the trade unfolds, the price initially moves favorably, reinforcing both traders' hopes for a substantial profit. But suddenly, the market takes an unexpected turn. A reversal catches them off guard, and panic sets in. John's oversized position amplifies his losses, forcing him into a difficult situation. The weight of his decision becomes painfully clear as he realizes he may have jeopardized his entire trading account. Meanwhile, Sarah's disciplined approach and adherence to risk management principles serve her well. While she experiences a setback, the impact is manageable due to her controlled position size. She remains calm, knowing that one trade does not define her overall success. Sarah is still in the game, ready to seize the next opportunity that arises. Whereas, John has blown his entire trading account as well as his months of hard-earned profits. The emotional toll of such an experience can be overwhelming to bear. Furthermore, he cannot take any more trades because of insufficient capital. One bad day, one bad trading decision, brought him back to square one. While Sarah continues climbing up the ladder of her trading success. This is the importance of risk management in trading. This is why successful traders emphasize so much about having a proper risk management plan in place. As Paul Tudor Jones once said, the most important rule of trading is to play great defense, not great offense. There are four steps to creating an effective risk management plan in trading. Step one, determine your daily risk tolerance. This step is crucial because you do not want one bad day to blow up your months of hard-earned profits or capital. I have seen a lot of people who worked very hard for months and made profits on their capital and were climbing to the top of trading ladder. But one bad day and one bad decision screwed it all up. There's nothing worse than losing all of your hard-earned profits because of one bad trading decision. People who have experienced such days will know what I'm talking about. If you've had such a day, share your experience and learning in the comments so that other people can also learn from your experience. This is why it is extremely necessary have a limit for your maximum daily loss, which cannot be compromised with under any circumstances, no matter how lucrative opportunities seem. This is a determined based on your capital size. It should be around 4%, 5% of your capital. Under no circumstances should it exceed 10% of your capital size. The rule number one of trading is avoid big losses. It might seem like just another rule until you actually come to realize the importance of this rule. Before we move on, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to be a part of Winning Traders Network. Also, show your support by hitting that like button. It's absolutely free. Now let's move on. Step 2. Determine risk per trade. This is fairly simple step. Just divide your daily risk tolerance with the number of trades you're willing to trade. Let's say you want to take two trades and your max risk capacity is 5%. Then you can risk 2.5% of your capital on both trades. Step 3. Determine a proper stop loss. Just like having no stop loss can be a disaster. Setting it too tight can be a recipe for assured losses where you're thrown out of a winning opportunity before the move even began. It should be based on proper price action analysis and not on your risk capacity. What I mean by this is don't decide it like I'm going to buy 500 shares, so based on my risk capacity and 500 shares, it should be here. This is an amateur's way of trading. Professionals know the importance of carefully placed stop loss, and they know that determining position size comes after, not before determining stop loss. Stop loss should be strategically placed at a level that, if reached, challenges the validity of your analysis. This might seem like a small change, but believe me, these small things will do wonders in your trading results. Step 4. Determine your position size. Position size is determined based on risk per trade and your determined stop loss. It is the last step before entering a trade. Amateur traders decide position size based on the profit they want to make whereas professionals decide it based on the amount they're willing to lose. This is the mindset shift you need to have to become successful in this business. Don't get me wrong, but amateurs might be right sometimes and might make big profits on some of their trades. 
but as far as consistency and taking profits home is concerned, they will never be able to match up to someone who uses proper risk management system. Because sometimes they might win big, but more often they'll lose bigger. In essence, risk management means to stay in the game. The primary focus of the trader should always be on preserving capital and managing potential losses. By implementing robust risk management practices, you ensure that you can weather the storms and maintain your ability to participate in future opportunities. Make sure to subscribe the channel and please leave a like if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.